Welcome to part two on graphing trig functions. In this part, we'll use the cosine function to see how we can horizontally compress and stretch it. The two examples we'll use are y equals cosine 2x and y equals cosine of 1 half times x. Let's take a look at cosine x first. Remember what that looks like? It oscillates between positive 1 and negative 1. Its period is 2 pi, which means that as x varies from 0 to 2 pi, cosine of x goes through one complete cycle. So what happens if we have cosine of 2x instead? As x goes from 0 to 2 pi, what does 2x do? It goes from 0 to 4 pi. So cosine of 2x will end up going through two complete cycles. And here's a picture of that. You should check this graph by plotting a few points choosing convenient values for x. Notice how the graph of cosine x got pushed towards the y-axis. We could say that it was compressed. Also, from the picture, we see that the period of cosine 2x is pi. Notice the new period equals 2 pi divided by the green 2, the 2 and the cosine 2x. In fact, there is a formula to do this. It says if k is a non-zero constant, the period of cosine kx or sine kx equals to 2 pi divided by the absolute value of k. You know something? I'm going to forget this formula as soon as I finish this tutorial. If we really need the formula, just derive it the way we did here. Reason it out. As I always say, we have more than enough to memorize. Okay, let's move on to the next example. What happens if we have cosine of one half of x instead? As x goes from 0 to 2 pi, what does 1 half of x do? It only goes from 0 to pi. That means it only gets through half a cycle. And here's a picture of that. Once again, you should check this by plotting a few points using convenient values for x. In this case, the one-half in front of the x stretched the cosine x-curve away from the y-axis. And what is the period of cosine of half x? To get the whole cycle, x would have to go from 0 all the way to 4 pi. So the period is 4 times pi, and notice that was 2 pi divided by 1 half. And we were able to derive that without knowing the formula. Well, I hope you understood everything here and had fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.